Good morning students, how are you today? Today we have a new lesson with code.org. Today our lesson 12, nested loops with frozen. Okay, our objective for today is break complex tasks into smaller repeatable sections. Describe success criteria number one, describe when a loop, nested loop or no loop is needed. Organize the difference between using a loop and a nested loop break apart code into the largest repeatable sequences using both loops and nested loops okay guys if you remember we this is our three third lesson for nested loop i know now you are more professional using nested loop today is kind of uh, you're going to create your own uh, project by practicing with the frozen let's start with that here lesson 13 nested loops with frozen okay this is practice number one this is i just did it by myself let me show you what i have done here see how we can reach to something nice like that let's click virgin history then i click start over Actually, today, guys, wherever you did in number one, it will show with you in number two and number three, you're continuous to the end. And all the steps here are related to each other. Okay. Now, let's see the first we need to read the instruction or we just we can play and hear what they are saying. Hi, I'm Elsa of Arendel. Help me draw a shape. Draw a small shape between 20 and 50 pixels wide it can be any shape that you like you can try making a polygon like one of these or even an abstract shape like one of these okay guys we can create one of these things here okay let's see how i can try doing these things for sure you know how to do that i'm sure okay Let's make this less here that we can see the whole part of workspace. Okay, guys. He told us to draw a shape between and to 50 pixel. You can draw move forward, for example, 30 pixel. Then what you need to do, turn right. Here I'm going to create a rectangle. Turn right. 520 degrees okay to create that one as you know we're gonna repeat it four three times to complete that let's try this yes we done that one okay you can make the also the uh, rectangle more bigger by changing this pixel here to move forward by 50 pixels Okay, guys. Okay, now we done from this part. Okay, let's go to the next practice. It's very easy. The first one, we could click finish and you can continue. Also, you can share wherever you want or you want to go back and draw something else as you want. Now, let me click continue and go to the next puzzle. We're in the next puzzle. Let's play the instruction. Now, let's draw more than one. Now take your shape and draw two or three in a row by jumping forward some number of pixels. If you jump forward by less than the width of your shape, they might overlap. If you jump forward by more than the width of your shape, you will get a gap. Your row might end up straight like with these, or your shapes might move around like one of these. Okay, guys. See, guys, how it's, this is the end it will be when you jump. Okay, or this kind of uh, shapes like that. See? You can draw any kind of shape. If you remember how I can make, uh, guys, a circle or have a circle, you need to move forward by one pixel and turn right or turn left by one degree. And you need to repeat it at least 180 to make it what have of circle okay 
you can try all this you don't have to stick what i'm drawing guys you can draw whatever you want okay any kind of shape okay now we need to jump here in the instructions if you say jump to draw another thing let me jump with 70 pixel it means we'll not draw anything jump with 70 pixels then we need to draw another three shapes how we can do this by using nested loop another repeat three times then we put all this on it you remember guys we did this in the previous lesson okay if you want to draw more than this you can draw whatever you want okay here jump forward by less than width okay or your shape they might be overlap okay or you can jump more than width of your shape i already jump more than here's 70 here is 50 i jump more 70 pixel okay you can draw something like that like exactly what i did okay guys then click finish when you complete this one and go to the next one by clicking continue okay see guys whatever i'm doing in the previous two puzzles it shows here and yani whatever you do it's already saved till the end okay guys okay now let's play let's this. make it into a snowflake next jump elsa back to the center using the jump to 200 over and 200 down block and spin her around to draw the line of shapes again and again in a bunch of different directions what amazing snowflakes you can make take a look at these examples with polygons abstract shapes might make a snowflake more like one of these Okay, guys, see how we can do this. See, it's look amazing shapes here with using the nested loop. Okay, before drawing this, guys, we need to jump. First, uh, uh, we need to jump 200 over 200 down. Okay, we, how we can do this. See this one jump to 200 over 200 down okay it means 200 pixel before I, I draw anything guys just try what i did here let's click run see what happen okay till the moment nothing will happen what we need to add more we need to after that we need to turn somewhere to draw the other one see here is asking me here jump then you spur in different direction it means we need to turn in different direction how by turning turn here by for example 75 degrees okay if i play this one nothing also will happen just we we're gonna she gonna turn here see what's happened she turned this side and draw the same thing okay now how we can draw something like you see here in the this picture is here we need to repeat this guys for example one two three five times it means we can put all of this and in another nested loop five times guys what do you see here today we use one two three what did we did we put three loops inside each other let's try now what we can draw here wow it's amazing right i believe you can do something better than this okay guys okay let's go to practice number Four. we're gonna click finish after that don't forget that then you click continue if you didn't click finish it will the three it will be still not sh turn it to green okay 
here guys let's play also the the instruction what happens if we draw snowflakes on top of each other try layering two different shapes of snowflakes on top of one another with a little turn in between see what you get okay let's do this one here try to layering two different shape of snowflakes on top of one another with a little turn in between see what you can get okay guys let's see how we can do this I'm going to draw something on top of the other things that we did how we can do that we're gonna complete here I'm gonna draw a square how we draw a square move forward then turn right by 90 degrees this one we need to repeat it how many times to draw a square we need to repeat it four times right four times okay we take this put it inside then we put it here okay now we need to draw more than one square here we draw one I need to draw at least more than more three if I want to draw more three after I complete this I need to jump I need to move forward just to draw another one okay I'm gonna here move forward by 40 degree okay let's make it 20 degree okay 20 pixel I mean okay and then we repeat all this again how many times three times then we put all this inside okay till now is okay we can run to check what I did till now nothing happened why what do you think this is similar to exactly what I did before okay but to to do this also we need to to show that we need to jump okay we need to jump to where 200 over 200 down same location we did before here okay in the middle then we can turn right by 45 degree you can measure any degree that you want guys okay okay till here great this all I need to repeat it again eight times it means I'm gonna get a nested loop eight times then put all of this on it can I try now let's see Wow, see what I'm doing. See guys, I draw four and top of each four there is another eight. Okay, see the beautiful things that I did? You can continue guys doing the same thing with the next practices till practice uh, nine. Okay, here we done from snowflakes one till here okay then snowflakes two you're gonna complete your here from that from number five okay you can start again it means the number five it will be the same each level you are doing it will show in the next level okay and you're going to move whatever you did there okay guys see here you're gonna do a different drawing doing a draw a stair steps patterns you need just to follow the instruction to create something like that i'll keep this to you and i need you to draw something beautiful guys okay you can share every time whatever you did something you can share it with the feedback discussion how for example for example you going to click for example here finish after you click finish you can take this by click clicking on it then you're gonna copy and share it with us and where or you can add it to the projects that you have
you can click add and it will be added to your project in code or to your account okay guys even if you want to send it by phone to someone okay they can scan this one with their phone camera to see your things or you can take this screenshot and send it to anybody you want okay guys i hope that you like the lesson today please give me the feedback about the lesson there is like three questions you need to answer them okay and also you can share this one with the feedback discussion the things that you draw today okay guys thank you see you bye